either an empty or a full, we'll take that into the shipping terminal set up. Make our way out of the big box here in Kailua. Full 45 foot container, so these uh, 45 footers are a little uh, oversized for a, a town of Kailua. Take it back. 
container. I think it's right behind where this container is back into right now. the 
Hero 10. I'm going to go down to Best Buy and get it. And my wife says, you know, you should shop around a little bit. So we got online and we shopped around. And sure enough, Costco had the GoPro 11 with two batteries.
material headed out to a bedding distributor. When we get there, we're going to swap out our full for a full container that they have that's going to one of the neighbor apps. So that should be fun. Fourth movement of the day, make our way into the shipping truck. I took one back, yeah. I, I dropped that one that was broken and I took the other one back. I don't know what's going on because it's not getting air to the wheels. Yeah. It's like the valve that in the back that distributes the air. It's like some, there's a clog there or something. So I just put it on the side. He said, just leave it there. He said, You saw, I dragged the wood all the way. <laughs> yeah. I tried my tricks and it never worked. Okay. That's it. We can shut it down. Restarted. It resets that chicken. 
It, it always comes out when you go over a bad bottle or a bump while you're driving. It's, it's, there's a sensor somewhere in the system that gets agitated. Talk to the mechanics enough to see if they have any idea what it is. So we had a nice, busy, diverse day. I like that. We didn't do anything over and over and over and over and over, which could be a lot of this. Turn off the AC. get home in the evenings after uh, dinner actually before dinner my wife and I we go for a little walk or a hike it's like two to three miles we walk the surrounding neighborhoods and uh, one of the conversations that came up is that we notice all the I don't know if they're abandoned homes but they're definitely empty homes She said, yeah, you should look into these. Maybe they just need somebody to help them either sell or get renters in them. But both of my homes that I own here in Hawaii, I got through foreclosure. I didn't buy it through a realtor. I didn't rent to own. I just went to the foreclosure auction and, and bought them at a discount. And I'd say I got them at 30% uh, off, 70% of what they were worth. The real estate in Hawaii for as long as I've lived here, and I've lived here 30 some years, it doubles every three, every 10 years. So I've owned homes for 20 years now. They've doubled twice. I bought them for 200, then they went to 400, now they're 800. I don't plan on ever selling them. I'll just give them to my niece and nephews when I die. I don't have any kids, but I think that's the, the mistake a lot of families make in Hawaii is that they don't pass on the generational wealth and as a result it becomes that much harder to, to live in Hawaii you have to start from scratch so I don't think everybody's willing to do what I did when I came to Hawaii you know the amount of uh, work and the amount of uh, discipline as far as spending But yeah, if I, if I was doing it all over again, I was just moving to Hawaii, I would definitely try to figure out why homes are vacant, you know. Can I, is it because they're run down and they need somebody to fix it, fix something? Because I've always been pretty handy. <laughs> but we're headed home, we got salad made, we got rice made. I got a bunch of um, Brussels sprouts that I need to cook up, so I'm gonna make a, I'm just going to roast some vegetables, potatoes, sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, some beets, a little bit of tofu, marinate that, stick it in the oven and just try to get rid of those Brussels sprouts. But that is it for today. Thanks for watching. Aloha.